Hey everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem from an AITS that is based on thermodynamics. So the problem statement is that we have we are being given a cylindrical container that is of sufficiently large height. It has two movable piston that enclose certain amount of same ideal gas in two chambers as shown in the figure. The upper piston is at a height 20 cm from the bottom and the lower piston is at a height 8 cm from the bottom. The mass of each piston is m kg and the cross-sectional area of each piston is a meter square. It's given that uh, mg equals p0 times a and p0 is the atmospheric pressure. The cylindrical container and piston, they are made of conducting material. Initially, the temperature of the gas is 27 degrees Celsius and whole system is in equilibrium. Now, the upper piston is slowly lifted up by an amount of 16 centimeters and it is held at that position with some external force. So then we have to say by what amount will the lower piston rise and secondly we have to determine the ratio of volumes in the final state. So if we solve the first question the second question is going to be extremely easy. So yeah let's begin with the solution. So so yeah the upper piston is slowly pulled up by an amount of 16 centimeter. The key point in the question statement was that the cylindrical container and the piston are both conducting. So if they are conducting, then the temperature inside and the temperature outside must be same because, because let's say if the surrounding temperature was Ts and the temperature inside is T and let's say Ts was greater than T, then what would happen is heat will start flowing from outside into the container uh, till both of them become equal. So as the temperature initially was T0 here, even the surrounding temperature is T0 and the, and the temperature of this gas is also T0. So that's the whole, that's the main concept of this problem. The process that the gas undergoes is going to be isothermal in nature because the temperature inside will always be equal to the surrounding temperature. So that's the main concept of this problem. So we can say the process taking place is isothermal, which, which would mean PV equals constant. So if we draw the FBD of the upper chamber, the, the forces that is acting on the piston will be the weight of the piston. The force due to the atmospheric pressure, it will be equal to P0 times A. The initial pressure of the gas in the upper chamber is P1. So the gas will apply a force of P1 into A. Now, as all of them are in equilibrium, we can, we can balance the forces and we'll get the value of P1 to be 2P0. As it is given that Mg equal to P0 times A. The initial volume would be this length multiplied by this area and this length would be nothing but 20 minus 8 that is 12 centimeter. So converting that into meters it's going to be 0.12 times A. And the final volume so this bottom lid moves up by an amount of L and this upper lid moves up by an amount of 16. So the length increases by an amount of 16 minus L and the initial length was 12 so the finally the length becomes 28 minus L centimeters v1 dash is going to be 28 minus l times a and let's say the final pressure in the upper chamber is p1 dash so now we can write pv equals constant and we'll get a relation between p1 dash and l so that would be our equation number one now for the second part now drawing the fbd of the second piston in the initial state so the gas on the upper chamber will apply a force of p1 times a uh, let's say the initial pressure in the bottom chamber was p2 so it will apply a force of P2 times A and the weight will act in the downward direction Mg. Now again balancing the forces you will get the value of P2 to be 3P0. And V2 the initial volume of the bottom container would be 8 times A right. And the final volume the bottom lid moves up by an amount of L so it's going to be 8 plus L divided by 100 times A. Now in the final state let's assume the pressure to be P2 dash. So the gas applies a pressure of P2 dash. The final pressure in the upper chamber is P1 dash. Again, if you balance the forces, you'll get P2 dash in terms of P1 dash. Now again, applying PV equal to constant in the bottom chamber, we'll get another relation between P1 dash and L. Now, as we have two equations and two variables, we can just solve them to get the value of length L to be four centimeters. So you can either like substitute the options into this relation or you can just solve this quadratic equation. So, so we determined the length L by which this moves upward to be 4 centimeters. So this, which would mean the final length of the 
upper chamber is going to be 28 minus 4 that is 24 centimeter and the length of the bottom chamber will be 8 plus 4 that is 12 centimeter they ask the ratio of volume so that is simply the ratio of the lengths that is going to be 2 is to 1 so our answers for this question is b and a so if you have any doubts please comment down below and like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching the video and thanks for watching guys